Good afternoon, y'all. Today I'm talking to you about the Guinness Book World Record for the longest parade of Harley Davidsons the world has ever seen. I'm doing it along with Paris Harley Davidson and the Law Tigers, and of course, all of you that show up. Today we're going to be pulling out the War Horse. This is the bike that I rode to every Harley Davidson dealership in America in one trip. It was, it was an epic journey. It's a 1996 Electroglide standard. There's a lot of modifications to this and a lot of stuff. You look at this pack and you might think to yourself, why would anybody need a pack this big? And the answer is because I literally lived off of this motorcycle for two years. That's right, I was homeless. I literally slept behind buildings, slept behind gas stations, in you know, anywhere, farmers' fields. I've got a lot of stories on different places I've crashed and different scenarios it's got me into, but I would just take this tarp right here and I would just roll it off and tie it off the side of my bike and then I'd get on this old military air mattress that a friend gave me at a dealership one day and I'd crawl underneath that with my pal Scooter and we'd sleep right next to our bike like that a lot of nights. Of course, the community also brought us in. So many of you out there brought me into your homes, cooked me meals, gave me spare bedrooms or couches and just companionship while I was out there on this crazy journey across the country. So I'd like to take this time to thank all of you. So I have not put this bike back on the road. After I've finished hitting every Harley Davidson dealership in America, I put this bike up on display and I have not ridden it since. But I'm taking it out today to get it ready for October 5th where we bring this world record home. I think it's only right that I break this world record with all of you on the only motorcycle to ride to every Harley Davidson dealership in America. It's cool you look through. I got all different for a while there. I was sponsored by Cliff Bars. I ate so many Cliff Bars. It was unbelievable. I think at one point I had a half a saddlebag full of Cliff Bars at a time. Scott Fisher from Scott Fisher Enterprises. This man was the very first person to stand behind me when I did this trip. So thankful to him. Paris Harley Davidson. Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson, another one worth mentioning. Really great guys up there. And of course, Destination Daytona. I absolutely love them. And Mancuso Harley Davidson. But I'm calling you out, Mancuso. Y'all are not that far away. I need your help on this parade. I rock your sticker. Please send some of your employees and riders out to help us break this world record. Wildcat Harley Davidson, Woodstock Harley Davidson, PDX Speed Shop in Portland, Oregon. I'd love to see some of y'all come out from Oregon for this. And so many more dealerships out there. I am calling on all of you to get with your riders, pre-register. Listen, the pre-register is very important for us. We are going to announce our pre-registration numbers. We've been holding back because we want to have a big, exciting announcement. And this is where I ask all of you, whoever has not pre-registered, Please go on and pre-register today or tomorrow because we are going to bring this world record home and we're going to announce this number and I want to shock the world with our pre-registration number. So please go to the link right here or find the direct link down in the description below. Pre-register today. It's $15 to pre-register. It's just the bike, not the riders. And 100% of that money goes to Motorcycle Missions, which is a very awesome veteran and first responder charity out there doing work for PTSD for veterans and first responders. It's, it's awesome. This is my plea to y'all, the last chance to pre-register before we announce our numbers. I need y'all to come together. It was a wild ride across all these dealers. It was a rough ride. We had troubles. We had, you know, I got hit by a car uh, about three quarters of the way through. A lady was texting and driving, hit me head on. I hospitalized me, destroyed my leg. To this day, my leg is still probably only 70%. I walk with a limp a lot of times. But we were not quitters, just like this world record, we're not quitting. This is our fourth attempt. We rode anyhow. This is the boot I wore when I uh, got hit by that lady. I, so I got on the bike months before I was supposed to, and I still had open wounds in my leg. I literally rode with this boot on my leg for the last 100 dealerships. 702 is what I hit in total. But to the last 100, I wore this boot. I uh, would prop my leg up on the crash bar here and just ride. I uh, had crutches. My friends would help get me on and off the bike. To finish on time, I had to hit 100 dealerships in 30 days. We were riding about 16 hours a day. It was brutal and we were doing it injured. But we were on a mission and that mission's what mattered most. And we never gave up. This is a reminder to me that I never give up. I'm not a quitter. I'm an American and we do not give up. And this fourth attempt at the world record. So I'm calling on all of you, please come out and ride with us. These are the crutches I carried and, and walked when I was down and out. This is how I'd get in and out of the dealerships. 
you all remember so many of you came out to see us and to support us and be with me during this time when I was down and I just want to personally in this video thank all of you for all that support because so today is the day and I'm pretty excited about it to take my old war horse and see if we can breathe some life back into her and she will fire for us I'm guessing it probably have a battery issue but we will see nonetheless we got to get it off of this ramp we built this uh, stage out of wood if you would so that we could display it and roll it around and move it but we got to get it off of this without dropping it on the ground with me today is my buddy matt what's going on matt is a marine corps veteran you may have seen him briefly in a couple of videos but today he's going to help me get this machine off of here and if y'all are coming october 5th you'll see matt running around he is helping us a lot across the campground with so many different projects so appreciate that brother no problem, man. now do you think we can get this off of here without dropping it I think we do. I think there's a fair chance. The good news is, Matt, if we drop it, it will not be the first time it's been dropped. I've dropped this motorcycle several times. <laughs> she bleeds a little. That's okay. All right, let's get this kickstand up. Yeah, it's free on the front here. Okay. You got the front brake, so I'm gonna count on you to control the starting and stopping. You ready? Yep. How much room we got? Oh man, we are right on it. All right, man, and uh, we are in neutral, I hope. Yeah, that battery is dead. Yeah. Well, let's hold the clutch in. I don't know if we're neutral or not. You ready? Uh, oh, I think we got it. Ready? One, two, three. Straight back. One, two, three. Three. <sighs> now we got to get a battery charger on it. Yeah, baby. Boy, that brings back some memories. It's still a comfortable position for me, though. All right, so the battery was dead, so we are trying to charge it. At least if we can get it to fire for y'all, just for today's video, then we'll put on a trickle charger overnight, and tomorrow we'll bring it into Paris Harley. And we will see what she has. Oh, everything seems to be good. Oh, we got some power. Let's see if we get enough to make her roll. Oh, there it goes again. There it is, I'm in neutral. It says I've got like almost no gas, so probably stale gas. But let's see if it even wants to turn over. We may try to start this thing and end up with the old bad gas. When I rolled my ignition on it, kicked off that one time. Well, y'all, we're going to have to leave this on the trickle charger, I think. Let it charge for a while. Maybe we'll be able to fire it for you in <laughs> tomorrow's video. I think the engine's strong. It's just it's a battery issue. Worst case scenario, we'll have to get a battery for it. It may take a charge. We'll see. Until the next video, y'all, remember, pre-registration means the world to me. Today and tomorrow are your last days of pre-register before we announce our number, and I would love to announce a big number. Normally, pre-registrations make up about 50% of an event. That's typically how it works, so please click that link down below, and uh, tune in tomorrow to see if we actually get the old war horse to fire. The only Harley Davidson ever to ride to all the dealerships in the country in one long trip. Till the next video, remember this is my fourth attempt. No matter what you're trying to do in your life out there, never give up on yourself. That's just the best message I can give you. I am trying to break a world record that has been whooping me. But I know we will break this record and I'm not quitting. We don't break it this time, we'll try again. But let's not let that happen. Let's, let's bring it home to America from Greece. October 5th, right in Paris, Texas. Till tomorrow's video, we'll talk to you later.